With the USMLE Step 3 being one of two USMLE exams that have a three-digit score, we can say that its importance has definitely increased. And if you are an IMG, passing the USMLE Step 3 prior to applying to residency definitely improves your chances of matching. But to pass and to do well on the USMLE Step 3, you have to choose the best resources. I will also share some secret tips that not everyone talks about when preparing for the USMLE Step 3. So be sure to watch this video until the end. And if you enjoyed this content, power up the like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. Now let's look at resource number one which is UWorld. Now this should come as no surprise as UWorld is the ultimate resource for all the SIP exams. But for the USMLE SIP 3, it has a total of about 1,600 questions. You can further divide these questions into two main groups, Advanced Clinical Medicine, which is primarily tested on the second day of the SIP 3, and Foundations of Independent Practice, which is commonly tested on the first day of the USMLE Step 3. There are about 1,067 questions for advanced clinical medicine and 559 questions for foundations of independent practice, which you can see on day one. I also want it to be clear that day one is typically said to be more challenging because of the question types and that it has like more step one questions. So if you want to know what to expect on day one of step three, be sure that you are subscribed to my channel because I'll be creating a complete guide of what you can expect on day one and how you can prepare for it so you're not caught off guard. Resource number two, that is the CCS cases. This should come as no surprise since this is tested on the step three and it accounts for about 20% of your total grade. So if you go on ccscases.com, you can purchase a one year subscription for about $75 and you will have access to 101 case simulations. So recall that you will have these CCS cases on day two of the step three and you'll have a total number of 13 cases, which can last for a maximum of 10 or 20 minutes. Resource number three is Anki. So if it's been a while since you've done step one, well, more important, step two CK, then Anki will definitely come in handy to basically highlight high yield concepts and of course, so that you can remember the different topics. So there are many different Anki decks out there for step three. Okay, so for resource number four, that is the step one rapid review section. Yes, I hope that you did not like completely throw away your step one book. We still need it for the step three. So I recommend that you go to the back of step one where you have the rapid review section and just quickly read through that a couple days before your test. It would also be very beneficial if you review Sketchy Farm as well as biochemistry like disorders or genetic disorders as well. Those are very, very, very high yield step one topics that I definitely would not want to have missed before going into exam day. So a crucial part of exam prep are, of course, practice tests. So that's why this has to be our fifth resource. So there are quite a number of options for practice tests. So you have the USMLE free questions. You know, like for step one or step two CK, where everyone talks about the free 120. Well, it's the same for step three, but instead of 120 questions it's about like 137 questions um, that are free and you can just go on usmle.org and find those questions under practice materials for the step three you also have two nbme forms that cost six dollars each form five and form six if you have been subscribed to my channel and watched my videos then you should know that 
the USMLE has already released answers or explanations for Form 5 for the Step 3 exam. It's also important that you review the USMLE practice materials. So basically, go through the content outline and content description of the USMLE Step 3, and in doing that, you will see some random questions of them, like giving examples of what the questions could be like. That's important for you to do. Also, if you're on USMLE.org, they have some practice cases for the CCS cases. And finally, we have the U World self assessments. So there are two self assessments available for the USMLE Step 3. And honestly, the more questions, the better. I understand that a lot of people do Step 3 during intern year, so it's very hard to juggle studying and fulfilling all your duties as an intern. However, if you have the chance, if you're on a certain clinical rotation where you do have more downtime than ordinary, then it will be very beneficial to go through as many of these questions and resources as you can. But if you want to see an in-depth breakdown of the two days of the USMLE Step 3, then you can click this video right here. But please be sure that you are subscribed to MD Powerhouse so that you do not miss another video like this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.